Tesla, Enphase, Franklin Whole Home. Which is the best brand of battery to install for your home in 2023? I'm gonna be answering that question and telling you all about the market leading products in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past 10 years, I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge, we cover solar panels, batteries, inverters, EV chargers, pretty much any product or technology that makes up a home renewable energy system. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison of the top five solar batteries in 2023. And with so many new participants in the home energy storage market, I know it can be difficult to sort through all the various options. So I'm gonna break down my top five home battery choices and why I put each one of them on the list. All right, coming in at number five is the brand new Canadian Solar EP Cube Hybrid Energy Storage System. Now, EP Cube is the new kit on the block in terms of home battery storage systems, but there are a few features about this product that I'm really excited about and that I want to make sure that you're aware of. The first is this is an AC and DC coupled battery system, meaning that you can take advantage of the ease of wiring of AC coupling if you wanna add battery backup to an existing solar power system. And you can also take advantage of the efficiency of a DC coupled solar power system if you're gonna be doing a brand new installation of your solar and your storage at the same time. Now, for those of you who've been following the channel for a long time, you know that DC coupled or direct, direct current DC to DC solar to battery charging uh, is more efficient than when you have to convert from DC to AC, which is what our house is wired for, and then back to DC to charge into the battery. So with the EP Cube system, you basically have the best of both worlds, AC coupling for adding on or retrofitting batteries after the fact, or DC coupling for a clean, efficient initial solar and storage installation. Uh, the other nice thing about the EP Cube battery is that the inverter in the battery Although they are technically separate components, they're both integrated into what looks like one appliance. So you have your inverter module here at the top, and then you can have up to six battery storage modules, depending on how much storage capacity you need. For a single stack, you can go all the way up to 20 kilowatt hours. And with the EP Cube gateway, you get a full 200 amp transfer switch. So in other words, you can wire your system for full home backup. You don't have to set a separate critical loads panel and then pick and choose which circuits are gonna have access to backup power and which ones do not. So with the EP Cube, a lot of features to be excited about. Uh, and of course it does use the newer, safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Now again, this is a new product. It's just rolling out into distribution right now. So be sure to check in with your top solar distributors like CED Renewables uh, and others. Uh, Signature Solar I know is carrying it as well. Uh, but, but be sure to keep an eye on this product. I think you're gonna find that this product is gonna gain a lot of popularity over the next year or two. All right, coming in at number four on the list is the Solar Edge home battery, and specifically the Solar Edge high voltage home battery, which you're gonna see used in most grid tie with battery backup applications. Now, the Solar Edge battery uses the lithium NMC chemistry. So, technically, this is the older chemistry. Uh, both Solar Edge and Tesla are still using uh, the NMC lithium ion chemistry which means that it is more energy dense. In other words, you can store more energy in a physically smaller battery, um, but in theory, it's not going to be as durable as the new lithium iron phosphate batteries. However, considering that Solar Edge is the number one inverter manufacturer in terms of US residential market share, their battery has to be considered a serious contender because they have such a large and loyal install base. So I think you're gonna find many existing Solar Edge system owners that when they choose to install battery backup, they're going to, by default, 
uh, at least consider the Solar Edge home battery as a solution. Uh, and of course, each of their batteries does provide 10 kilowatt hours of storage. And that's one of the, the, the standard sizes that we see emerging is that sort of 10 kilowatt hour size unit. Solar Edge sizes their battery that way. Uh, we'll talk about Enphase in a moment that also sizes their battery in 10 kilowatt hour units. Uh, and then in terms of power, you can run a continuous load of 5,000 watts with surge power up to 7,500 watts per Solar Edge battery unit. Uh, now I should mention, this is a pure battery. So you, you are still gonna have to pair this with a Solar Edge inverter if you wanna have a functioning system for your home, either for self-consumption or for emergency backup power. On that note, there is a unique feature that Solar Edge offers, which is the ability to have a battery-only self-consumption system without having to install a transfer switch. And so this is especially for folks that are in California and Arizona and other markets where you want to be able to maximize self-consumption because your utility does not offer a true one-for-one -one net metering. You can install the Solar Edge battery in a battery only self consumption mode without having to take on the extra cost or complexity of putting in a whole house transfer switch. So, this is the Solar Edge home battery. All right, and coming in at number three is the Tesla Powerwall 2 home battery. Now, Tesla Powerwall probably is the number one home battery brand in terms of popularity. And I really have to hand it to Tesla because I think they did an excellent job of bringing to the mainstream this idea of having a, even a, a home backup battery for your home. You know, 10 years ago when I was starting in solar, having batteries in your home was not something you would tell anybody about. It was kind of a thing, maybe it was a, a project you were working on in your garage and kind of a science experiment. But now this idea of having a home battery is a mainstream concept and Tesla did a great job in I think introducing this technology for mainstream residential use. Now the thing I like about the Tesla Powerwall too is, in terms of retrofitting a battery, this is about as simple as it gets. Uh, this is an AC coupled battery, which means that the entire installation can be done at ground level at your AC, your alternating current circuit breaker panel. Um, and this is an inverter agnostic battery, meaning that you can use the Tesla Powerwall too with virtually any existing grid tied solar system. So if you have an existing system, maybe you're using Solar Edge or Enphase, uh, or maybe an SMA or a Fronius string inverter, the Tesla Powerwall is gonna be compatible with all of those systems. And as I mentioned, as an AC coupled battery, all the installation happens at ground level. So you don't have to worry about changing around any of your wiring on the roof. Everything stays clean and easy for retrofit. The other advantage of the Tesla Powerwall is that, and now we've had several years to get feedback from homeowners, is that the Tesla Powerwall is, from my perspective, it is the lowest maintenance battery out there. Uh, in other words, if you deploy a Tesla Powerwall battery, the percentage of batteries that require some sort of service or maintenance in let's say the two years following the initial installation, uh, it's actually gonna be the lowest maintenance battery uh, available right now. And part of the reason is that it's, it's one of the most mature battery products on the market. Some of the newer batteries like Enphase's new generation um, or the Franklin Whole Home battery even, because it is a new product, it, it does come with some of those factors that you tend to have to deal with with new products, like having to do software updates right out of the box to make sure that the device is running the most up-to-date firmware or software. Uh, whereas with the Tesla Powerwall, it's a bit more of a mature product, and so the incidence of needing any kind of service or on-site technical support is much, much lower. Now, I should mention, Tesla is still using the older lithium NMC chemistry, which means that theoretically, it is susceptible to thermal runaway which in other words, battery can overheat and catch on fire. Now, I don't want to scare anybody with that. I've, I don't have any instances of any of my clients with a Tesla battery that actually had the battery catch on fire. But in theory, under certain circumstances, the battery cells could overheat. And if one overheats, it would cause kind of a chain reaction where the whole thing just ignites or explodes. So that's why a lot of folks now and a lot of the new manufacturers are preferring to go with the lithium iron phosphate chemistry, which runs cooler, it's more durable, and is not susceptible to this uh, thermal runaway problem. But all that said, Tesla Powerwall still has a solid third position in the top five battery lineup and is probably the most popular home battery brand today.
All right, coming in at number two is the Enphase IQ battery storage system. Now, Enphase uses the new lithium iron phosphate chemistry, which again, in theory, is a more durable chemistry and much safer for use inside the home since you don't have that risk of the battery cells overheating and catching on fire. The only thing though is that Enphase designed their battery system to only work with Enphase microinverters. So if you want to take advantage of distributed power inversion on the roof, in other words, each solar panel on the roof has its own microinverter, so you don't really have any central point of failure. Uh, if you want to take advantage of that same distributed architecture and that same redundancy for your battery storage, Enphase offers the same thing here as well. Internal to the battery, Enphase actually uses 12 microinverters per battery to do the internal inversion or rectification. Meaning, if the battery is taking in charge from the grid, internal microinverters do that, what's called rectification, taking AC to DC to charge the battery. Um, they also use those same 12 internal microinverters to invert power from the battery to provide AC power into your breaker panel to power backup circuits during a blackout for your home. And so because it's done on a distributed basis internally, if one of those internal microinverters fails, you don't lose the function of the entire battery. You would just lose one twelfth of the capacity. So Enphase, with their distributed microinverter design, both on the array and on the battery, is the most redundant energy storage system available. Uh, and of course, using the more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry, it's going to just endure more cycles and last for more years of service as well. The downside again though is that it's only designed to work with Enphase microinverters. It's not a battery that you could use with an existing system, let's say if you had already Solar Edge or SMA. But this is the Enphase IQ battery system coming in at number two. And if you're looking at a brand new system and you want to use Enphase on the roof, I think you definitely ought to take a look at considering using Enphase's storage system as well. That way you can keep everything under one umbrella, everything under one monitoring app. And finally, coming in at number one is the Franklin Whole Home Battery Backup System. Now those of you who have been following Solar Surge for a while, you know that Franklin is one of the battery systems that we often recommend, particularly for those that want a true whole house backup. And where Franklin sets itself apart from the pack is really in just raw power and capacity. Um, each single battery can provide peak surge power up to 10,000 watts for up to 10 seconds, which is more than any other single battery product on the market. And it's enough to start up a central air conditioning unit up to four tons running on a single battery only. Now, for most of my clients, if you want a true whole house backup and you wanna be able to run lights in the refrigerator in addition to your air conditioning unit, then I am gonna recommend that you install two or more of the Franklin whole home batteries. Uh, but that's still less than you would need if you were using a comparable Enphase or Tesla Powerwall system. And so with the high surge power rating, with a two battery Franklin solution that gives you up to 20 kilowatt surge power for 10 seconds, which means you can put the entire house on backup power without having to pick and choose individual circuits. The other thing I like about the Franklin battery is it is like Tesla, it is a truly inverter agnostic battery. So if you're looking at a solution to retrofit onto your existing solar power system, you could add the Franklin battery system to Enphase, to Solar Edge, SMA, any of the leading inverter brands. Uh, and again, being an AC coupled battery, it means all of that installation can happen at ground level so you don't have to disrupt any of your solar panels on the roof. The other thing that the Franklin system provides is generator support. And so you know if, if you're preparing for a long-term power outage or for a true off-grid operation, I always recommend having a generator hookup option so that if you hit a patch of bad weather where the solar panels can't keep up with charging the batteries, all you have to do is fire up the generator for a few hours, let the batteries charge back full, and then you can run, you know, go back to running a couple of days off the batteries only. The other feature that the Franklin system provides are the two smart, two smart circuit controls inside the Franklin A-Gate. And so Franklin decided instead of doing a whole smart panel and smart load management system, they're just gonna give you smart control of the two heaviest loads within your home, which in most homes, it's going to be your central air conditioning unit and perhaps your home EV charger. 
And so based on the battery state of charge, you may choose to automatically power down those heavy loads so that you can conserve the running time on your battery backup. You know, best way to think about it is like a low power mode for your home. You know, you kind of have a low power mode for your cell phone. You might want to turn off certain apps if your battery's starting to drain too fast. It's the same thing for your home. With those two smart circuit controls, you can power down the heaviest draws within your home, like let's say air conditioning or EV charger, but still make sure that the fridge, the lights, the internet, you know, all those basic things remain energized throughout the night. So folks, this has been the top five comparison best solar batteries for 2023. Uh, as always, if you're in the process of looking at solar or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for any of these options or frankly, any of the other leading options, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Just set up a quick Zoom call with me or with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to chat through all the different options and get the best pricing and the best information to you. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos we have on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish new videos, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with us. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some more time with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.